You know, a lot of people ask me what my favorite tier 8 is in the game, and there's a lot of tier 8s, and there are a lot that I like. I mean, the KV-5 got buffed, and that thing is incredibly fun. The STG Guard was one of my favorites for a while due to the high alpha with the super low profile and solid turret armor it features, and then you got vehicles like the Borsug, which used to be a bop with the 640 damage per shot. There's a lot of tanks out there that I really, really enjoy. We have ground to tank! However, I would definitely say out of all the vehicles that are currently in Tier 8, probably the Charlemagne is my favorite, which is this Tier 8 British Heavy. It's a vehicle which features a Hesh firing gun. It's got decent standard pen at 240. It's enough to cut through the majority of Tier 8s, obviously all Tier 7s. And it's really only once you get up to Tier 9s that you might struggle. But if you know where to aim, it's all right. And it's got 174 mils of Hesh pen. And the Hesh pen does a lot of damage as well. It has 470 damage per shot. So you will absolutely bonk people. And unlike the Caliban, this vehicle's accurate. It's got 0.326 dispersion. Its aiming time's not great, but the dispersion's pretty good. And while its DPM is a bit on the lower side, it shouldn't make too much of a difference when you're obviously bonking people for almost 500 damage a shot if you pen your Hesh. So... The Charlemagne is an incredibly dangerous tank when it's given the opportunity to be one. It's also quite a weak tank in other situations. Its hull armor is pretty poor. Think of the hull armor kind of like a Conqueror at Tier 9, where you might get a bounce occasionally, but for the most part, it's going to be pens all day, especially through the super weak track wheels. The turret is actually pretty solid, though. If you're using the 8 degrees of gun depression properly, and you're playing the tank fully hull down, you will definitely get bounces on the turret. That's one of the major strengths of the vehicle. It's also decent fast on its power to weight, which allows it to get in and out of position decently quickly. So, we're going to see what we can do here. This is a pretty good matchup, and uh, yeah, we'll see. You'll also notice that the angles on the side are slightly, like the hull itself is slightly angled in, which does give your side armor a bit of a troll aspect to it for people that don't know where to aim. So we are going to go up top. I mean, heavy-wise, we have a big fat disadvantage. They have two tier 8 heavies, we don't. They have an Annihilator and a Smasher where we get a Tiger and a BZ-58. So, definitely a little annoying. The funny thing is Wargaming could have put the Smasher or Annihilator, one on each team, but instead they wanted to just do that. So, classic. But we're going to go wide here. You can see the power to weight on the Charlemagne. Like, the vehicle, it's not very fast, but it gets up to speed, and it stays at speed. So, it's actually quite nice to drive. We got the Progetto off to the side. We're just going to poke this really quickly. There you go. We got the Luva. And a nice 420 damage shell. You can see when you need to load AP ammo, it's pretty easy to cut through the majority of armor that you want to. So there's not much of a problem right there. We got the Luva, who's obviously uh, was looking at me. We're going to aim it on his vehicle. There you go. Another nice shot. This is where that accuracy feels nice, though. You have the alpha damage of a Soviet heavy, but the accuracy of you know, a medium for the most part, which means you can hit pretty nice shots across the map if you want. Speaking of nice shots across the map, there you go. I did not think that was going to hit, but it did, and that's actually really good for us because uh, we obviously do not want that player to be traumatizing our mediums on the other side of the map. Got the smasher, oh boy, oh boy, lagging a little bit, but uh, we got the smasher off to the side over here. Let's see what else we got. Anybody else over here? Hello? Interesting. Okay, Smasher just shot. So this is obviously where I can just load a 480 damage shell into his vehicle. I mean, that's kind of an insane roll. And then the best part about this is... Oh, well, I don't really care about that. But the best part about this is I should out-reload the Smasher. Well, I did out-reload the Smasher, but then I didn't. So, oh well. That was a bad play for me. In fact, we're still being shot by the... Uh, the enemy there. That's really annoying. Alright, let's just aim it on the IS-3. There you go. Nice 380 damage. Yeah, in retrospect, maybe poking that Smasher wasn't the best play. I thought we would out-reload him more than we did, and we obviously didn't, so that was pretty mid. Uh, we're gonna aim it on the Bulldog. There you go. 700 damage shell into his vehicle. The IS-3 Defender's gonna push me here, and probably gonna die. Uh, but we will out-reload the Bulldog. That's not a worry. So we finish off the Bulldog. We're not dead yet. Uh, we don't have much support right now is the only problem. But we're still alive. That's obviously the most important thing to take home about this current situation. Unfortunately. Oh no, we did pen that. It just low-rolled. Alright, nice. Pretty, pretty big bonk into that Luva. All that's left at this point is the Annihilator in mid, who is obviously not enjoying life all too much. 
The IS-3 Defender, who's probably going to try and rush me. Let's aim it on the IS-3 Defender. And bonk. 440 damage HE. I thought the IS-3 Defender was going to look towards me, so that's why I was kind of being very hesitant on my aiming there. But uh, let's just reload and finish him off. There you go. That was a pretty solid game. And it's a great example on why the Charlemagne feels so nice in certain situations you play it. Like, even when we played it kind of poor, we bled a lot of our health, we were still able to make up for it, dealing 4,400. But as I said, the armor's not very good. We only blocked 500 throughout that entire game, one of which was a poorly aimed shot from the IS-3 Defender, and one of which was from a Tier 7 Light. So, yeah, the armor on this vehicle really isn't anything all that impressive. But hey, this thing hits hard. We were able to take that full health Bulldog off 900 HP and two shells. And by the way, the standard HE on this vehicle does more damage than the basic, as we can see. Uh, it might be upwards of like 550 damage per shot. 530, which is kind of ridiculous. A, a 400, or actually a 390 alpha gun rolling 530 on the HE. That is a 140 alpha increase. That's insane. So uh, yeah, again, the Charlemagne, it bops. It bops really well. All right, another solid matchup in terms of uh, rankings. We are top tier, but let's see what we have up against us. 112 Glacial Centurion Mark 5, 1, Conf Panzer 7. They don't really have a lot of heavies. The heavies they have is a Skoda T45, an IS-2, and uh, a TS-60 is a heavy as well. So I guess they have four if you add them all together. We have pretty good heavies, though. I mean, we got an Emil 1951, which, if played properly, is really solid. And we also have a Tiger II, which is also quite dangerous. So, we'll see. We will definitely see. I am going to go town for this one, um, just because probably the rest of my team will... Hopefully the Tiger goes with me to the middle spot here. I doubt anybody's going to go wide. You usually don't see people go wide on uh, Encounter. It's more supremacy... Okay, obviously I have to be careful though, because I'm not being supported by my team right now. Alright, let's push up a little bit. Let's aim it on the 112 if we... Actually, that's not a 112, that's an IS-2. Come on, back up, you little stinker. Come on. I'll, I'll just push up if I can. Oh, there it is. Well, I knew he was going to be here at some point. Oh, when it goes low, that's really unfortunate. Okay, well, let's reload. We got the TS-60 on us as well now. This is not exactly what I want. Um, oh boy. Oh boy. Our gun is not cooperating, and our game is not going very well because of that. To be fair, we're doing alright, but uh, it's definitely not going the way I want it to. Alright, let's aim it on the 112. This should be our first pen of the game. There you go. Unfortunately, the Skoda finally poked us, but it's only 180 damage. It's not... It's not too big of a deal. We're going to aim it on the Glacial, maybe again. Uh, uh, no, not able to hit him from here. Let's uh, let's see if that Skoda pokes us. Come on. Obviously, we can out-trade that Skoda by quite a bit. Actually, the IS-2 just shot, so we can just aim it on his lower plate. And there you go. 450 HE Juicer. So, when the HE works on this tank, it's quite incredible. And you have a lot of health, obviously. You're, you're a heavy tank, so you can hit people quite hard, which is obviously nice. IS-2 missed, so we're going to pull out now. We're going to aim it on the lower plate of his tank, and my Skoda just ate my shell. Thank you, Skoda. Wow, I'm going to lose another 400 health because of that as well. Holy mad. I cannot believe that that just happened to me. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the Skoda gun barrel went inside of my tank, and it caused me to shoot the Skoda's gun when I fired, causing my shell to not pen. That's... Quite possibly the most stupid thing I've seen in a very long time. Wow. I have nothing to say. Oh well, we got a nice 490 damage shell into the uh, Skoda T45. We're going to reload, and if our mill doesn't clear him, which he does, we would have finished him off. I mean, it's going to be a win, so I can't get too mad. I just still can't believe that that shell did what it did to me. Let's see if the KPC pokes. Come on. I know he's there, but I'm just going to move up. Alright, so we got the RAAC in the back. Not able to hit him as of currently. Ow, that's really unfortunate for me. Didn't think the KPZ was going to be smart enough to, uh, to do that. But we got a 528 damage shell into his vehicle, so I can't get too mad. This was an okay result. We did 2,100 damage, and we are going to win. So, not too mad. 
You can see where the Charlemagne does struggle, though. Occasionally, the gun will derp out. We had a couple shells, one being on the IS-2's corner cutout that didn't end up going where I wanted it, one on the sky, one of the side of the Skoda that also did not pen. And those two shots alone would have brought us from about 2,100 damage to 3k. We also had, obviously, the Skoda eat my shell. I still can't believe that happened. Oh, man. We wouldn't even have died because the Skoda would have then just cleared him, but... Oh well. We did pretty good. We got a victory, and that's really all that matters. I really like the Charlemagne. I think it's a fantastic vehicle, and it's really good haul down. There's just not a lot of haul down spots to really work a vehicle like the Charlemagne on that map. But hey, still second on the team. No complaints here. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys think about this tank. I've been doing pretty well in it. 80% win rate with 2,800 average, so it's not a vehicle that I do bad at all. Bye-bye.